<laughs> if I did, then I'm right. Did he just say he's the main character? Well now. Is he is that means that he's that means that he's gonna stick around. Ugh. That means that he's gonna stick around. Ugh. He ain't gonna be in the oh, I knew what I was gonna say and I still fed it up. Golly! Before I even get into the video, because you know what just happened last episode. Oh my god! I got oh! No! Bro, they really killed off. Welcome. My nigga Kulia! Over, over! Full blast! Sorry, Mike. Boya, Kuya. Why is Biakuya? Why is Biakuya? Okay, I'm gonna let them do it then. I just stood there, horrified, as showers of screams rang out behind me, as I gazed quietly at the body of my former friend. Oh my gosh. <laughs> all right, bro. No, all y'all don't have to grab skull, grab hair follicles. Let it go. Let's find out who did it. Hey, 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 hey! Another one grabbing skull. Are you kidding me? Don't mess with me. This must be some some kind of mistake. <laughs> this can't be real blood, right? It, it's gotta be something like. Jam or, or sauce, because if if not th this, we knew that was coming. Cottonmouth, Banyan. This is <laughs> Hero's daughter. What the hell? Good gracious! Things quickly took a turn for the worse. Now you notice, brother man jumped out. There was no ding dong and good morning. There was none of that, bro. This is a fake murder. Yeah. And I did not look that up. That's just my uh perspective with my gunner optics Ugh. all right my mom my my now this is interesting thrills chills kills he's still on that same raggedy ass line on this tropical paradise known as jabberwock island the very first murder has finally taken place M murder could it be uh, uh, hold on then does this mean <laughs> of course that's right Kuya was killed by one of you. I'm so sweaty, bro. That dance really took me out. What? Of course. If you look at the body, you can tell instantly he was obviously murdered. God, <laughs> Look at him, brothers and sisters. What is that green strip in the back? What is the knife and what is that headgear? Oh my gosh. Look, he has such a horrible expression on his face, don't you think? A face filled with regret that his life was ended by force, all thanks to someone else's selfish <laughs> desires. <laughs> to have a dying face such as this? If this isn't murder, then what the hell could it be? All right. Hmm. Kuya was most likely sacrificed by someone who really wanted to leave this island. Lies. It's all lies. You're lying that he was murdered. Murdered. 
The moment I screamed that word, a thick, muddy feeling of despair swelled within my body. He must be looking at Akane. Which means that that I've accepted the fact that Kuyo was murdered. What is this? C could it be? I is that really Kuya? Where have you been? Don't act. Yo, Peko Peko, what's up with Why? you? Where was you at? Why did this happen? Why, Kuya? Phew! I see, I see. It appears Hiko is the only one who isn't here. Little Trump. What are you gonna do? So, in the spirit of keeping everyone on the same page, how about we do this the usual way? Oh no. My innards. My innards. A body has been discovered! Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! Class trial? Hey, um... I've already explained this to you, right? If one of you gets murdered, the rest of you have to debate who you think is the blackened. Is it you, Berlizzi? No, racist bear bitch. Y you're telling us to figure out who the killer is? Correct! That's right! From this point on, you guys must investigate and uncover the blackened culprit. That's impossible! It can't be. Someone actually killed. There's no way. <laughs> if you make an outburst like that, you'll end up being a suspect. That's... I, I, I won't believe it. One of us killed Kuya? There's no way. Something as hopeless as that would ever happen. No, no, no! If you're actually thinking that way, it means you guys are already being conned by the killer. <laughs> come on, come on, let's hurry up and begin! An impassioned, life-risking battle between you guys and the Blackened, and <laughs> it's already started! It started the moment one of you plotted to kill someone. Hey! Hey, wh what are you saying? You can't! Everyone, please! You cannot, you should not believe what Monokuma says! <laughs> no matter how much you interfere, there is only ever one truth. On my grandfather's... Ooh, he put that on his grandfather! Well, I'm putting this one on Togami, bitch. I'll see you in the trial after I give my information. I swear to you, I'll find out who that blacking is. And it ain't gonna be me. I know you're looking at my skin color right now. It ain't gonna be me, bear. You know who I think it is, actually? I think it's that little chef, motherfucker. You wanna know why? Because when me and Kuya was in that kitchen, I asked him about that knife. We both asked him about that knife, and he acted like it was gone since he got here. Then why was it right next to my nigga dead body? You have a grandpa? On my grandfather's... Why won't you say it? Me? Grave? Your grandpa is dead? What happened to him? On my grandfather's... Emergency! I'm not finna do this, this dialogue. This is kind of depressing. I don't even know where to begin. At this rate... You ain't my comedy God. anymore! Bro, relax! He hit her with... He hit her with jab block combos. He hit her with front kicks, back kicks, back hands. And now he hit her with a smooth uppercut. It hurts so much when you hit me with a charging corkscrew attack. This is, they, they're trying to be cute like we don't see a dead corpse over there in the corner. Did you see that? This stunning display of power. Defy your big brother and I will show you no mercy. I will harden my heart and teach you a lesson you won't soon forget. <laughs> if only I had my damn. If only I had my magic stick. I'd be able to fight back against Monokuma. Fine, fine. 
yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's just leave the whining rabbit loser alone and get on with the investigation. Now then, in the spirit of lovely doubt, lovey doubt, and dovey despair, <sighs> put your heart and soul into investigating. Yahoo! I wish you the best of luck! Hmm. And with that, Monokuma vanished, leaving those of us who were grief-stricken alone with our despair. What does this mean? I don't understand this at all. Uh. A search for Kuya's killer. Why did it turn out like this? What's going on? Uh, give me a break. Why do I have to be involved in this horrible situation. Um. Um, you can't doubt each other, cause you're all friends. Understand? But Mr. Ham Hands really did get killed, right? And if we don't find out who the killer is, we're all gonna get killed, right? Please wait. That being said, I cannot abide by this. Now that I have finally made friends, there is no way I can doubt them. Oh. Seriously? Did you even listen to what I said? It, it, it doesn't matter if you can abide by this or not. We gotta do this to survive, right? Then we have no choice but to do it. I won't forgive you. No! Friends doubting friends is a major no-no. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Just go away already, you useless piece of trash! Oh, <laughs> well, these threats are scary. Do we really have to do it? But... No. I don't want to do something like that. No! I don't want to do it either. It sounds so scary. However... However, it is just as Hiyoko said. If we're going to get killed for not doing it, then we must do it. Broken Nagito. But still, I can't believe one of us killed Kuya. There's no way I can believe it. There's no way. So for that reason, yep, I'll do it. I'll investigate Kuya's death. I will do my best to prove there is no killer among us. Then how is he dead, you blonde booty boo boo? There's no need to deceive or doubt each other. What we need to fight is not ourselves. There's no mistake but that which is trying to crush us. This despair. This hopeless reality, that's the real enemy we need to fight. If I'm gonna survive this, then I have to fight it. Um. Uh, before you start, can I say something? Well? In closed circle detective games, the player usually has to decide on who's going to guard the crime scene. What should we do? Uh, you see her gamer instincts coming out in the real world? Then quit trying to play us like we just sit on our ass and eat snacks like Cheetos, Doritos, the whole Eidos family. No, we have skills, mental capacity that no one can reach. That's why my shit is like this and yours is like this. That's what I tell myself at least. It would be bad if the killer destroyed the evidence and got away with it. <laughs> Destroyed the evidence? Pointing! Look over there! That big, bulky, brawny guy is perfect for the guard job! <laughs> he still need to take a boo-boo. What what the heck what happened? Man. That guy has a sensitive heart, despite his looks. Is that what that means? Hey. Um I can be the one who watches the crime scene. I don't have enough confidence to investigate the body. And it's not like I have the brains either. I'll just stay by Kuya's side. That's the least I can do. That's what guard duty is, right? Uh, Mahiru. Uh, um, uh, yeah. Don't my ear with that. I'll do my best. I'll do my very best to not get in your way. Yes. I have medical training, so if it's not too much trouble, I can perform an op autopsy, please. Um. So you're going to stay as well. Is that okay? <laughs> and what specifically should we be doing now? I, I have no idea. Hmm. 
and it's pretty obvious we're all just amateurs. Going through each grain of sand on the beach just to find a clue would be a waste of time. The only ones who can do that are the police. There's no way amateurs like us would be able to do it. Hey, so let's first rely on our intuition. We'll start from there and prove that none of us could have killed Kuya. But to perform an autopsy on your friend, how cruel. <laughs> if we perform an autopsy on dude, he's really gone. You can't go through a dead, you can't dissect a dead man body to find out what killed him and then bring him back to life. It don't work like that. But I have no choice, right? There's no way I could do something like decline, right? I won't believe. I won't believe. Over, you're a liar. I, I don't believe that at all. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Fine. I'm in. You are right. If we are to survive, this is our only path. This is the worst. Something like this is the only thing we can do in order to stay alive. Finding out who the killer is. That's our only hope for survival. Something like this is hope. Even so, I still gotta do it. All right, in here. You thought it was time for the investigation, but... It's the Monokuma file! This is new. Hey, hey! Just as I... Alright, just as I thought, you amateurs need this, right? What What the hell is a Monokuma file? I don't like this. Jeez, explaining the rules all the time really breaks my bones. Who are you? Well, it's not like I have bones in the first place. Like, don't even make me say such lame jokes. Allow me to explain. Let's see. The Monokuma file contains precise and detailed information regarding the dead body. What? I brought it to you so you guys can smoothly proceed with the investigation. I'm such a nice guy. Wow. <laughs> I'm so nice, I want to be known as the Mother Teresa of the mascot world. Hey, hey. Nice, you say? You're just a selfish meanie. What's this? My, my, my! Manomi, the meaningless mascot. You're still here? You stupid brother! Don't put me in the meaningless mascot genre. Damn it. Come on, let's go. Your turn is already up. Hurry up and get the hell out of here with me. Oh, gee, don't pull my ears. They're going to come off. They're finally gone. The Monokuma file, huh? Anyway, I guess I should look it over just in case. This might just keep bouncing. Look at it. Look at that mic go. All right. Here we go. Dead. Cause of death, the victim's body was discovered in the dining hall of the old... Oh, here we go. The victim's body was discovered in the dining hall of the old building near the Hotel Mirai. The estimated time of death is 11.30 p.m. The victim was repeatedly stabbed over 10 times between the throat and abdominal region, my innards, resulting in death. Aside from that, the body has no other external injuries and no chemicals such as poisons were detected. Oh, Kuya. Somebody got you in the dark, bro. Ah, <sighs> so, Kuya is really dead. Damn it. You promised there wouldn't even be one victim. Why did you end up being the one? And now, I'll never know what you were gonna say to me. I remember, dude. I remember. It was just the other day. I could not talk to others about my past. And I suspected my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Distrusting others and being distrusted in turn. For a long time, my life has been a living hell. And it was inevitable that I would end up this way. In the end, what did it even mean? Could it be? Even so, if there really is a traitor, isn't that gosh darn awful? Pretending to be your ally and tricking you guys. It can't be helped if someone like that gets killed, right? 
traitor. No way. Just because he said lots of serious things, it doesn't mean he was a traitor. What am I thinking? Monokuma file number one. Hmm, so, so Haji is honestly thinking Kuya could be the one. At least he's at least he's questioning everything. I think that was what they they lacked in the first game was Makoto was just so oblivious to everything. But then they they hit you with number two and was like, "Yo, you finna be playing as a complete skeptic," and they still got me with this plot twist. That's right. I need to do it. And if we're gonna survive this, we need to do it. I have to prepare myself for the worst. Off top, I want to go straight to the kitchen. Let's investigate the body first. Under this very table, Kuya was. First, I should investigate the top of the table. Though, the only thing on top of this table that really catches my eye is this desk lamp. This part of the game is like. It's just heat, bro. This is exactly why I like this game because it, it gets smart now. This desk lamp. It looks like an antique lamp and it seems rather heavy. The power cord was connected to the outlet, so it would have been useless during the blackout. Huh. Other than that, there's nothing else on the table that really stands out to me, so... Now's not the time for me to flinch. I gotta do it. I let out a shout as if to encourage myself and quickly looked beneath the table. Immediately, I noticed an unexplainable smell like rusted iron hanging in the air. No, that's Kuya, because when you die, you release all of your bowels immediately. He shit himself, RIP. Enduring the stinging pain in the back of my eyes, I slowly shifted my gaze toward Kuya's body. Kuya Togami, the ultimate affluent progeny. He was the kind of guy who said a lot of hurtful things, but he tried his best to lead everyone. Why? Why did he have to end up like this? Only thing I can do right now for Kuya's sake is to uncover the truth behind his death. I'm already wondering, what is this R2-D2 gun? Hmm, what is this? Is that VR set? It looks like binoculars, but why is there a pair of binoculars under the table? Hey, Hajime, those aren't binoculars then what are they? Perhaps those are probably night vision goggles. N night vision goggles? Oh, I've seen them at the supermarket on this island. They also stock self-defense kits too. Huh. So he, whoa, if that's the case, did the killer use these night vision goggles to kill Kuya during the blackout? And then frame this shit like, what is this tape right here? You know what? I saw that in the picture that they showed of this dead man, but I was like, nah, that's nothing. They really made that a clue, dude. Hmm. Something stuck to the back of the table. Is this duct tape? There seems to be paint applied to the non-sticky side of the duct tape. In the dim light beneath the table, it seems to glow dully. Could this be glowing paint? Ooh, when you see oh they tried to tape the knife up underneath the desk bro a bloody knife is this the weapon that killed Kuya hold on how did the killer bring this knife to the dining hall in the first place but hold up hold up didn't wasn't Nagi the one who cleaned up this entire room Kuya thoroughly patted down everyone and thoroughly inspected every corner of this old building. He sure did. And all the confiscated dangerous items were supposed to be placed in that Duralumen case. It's possible they stole this knife from, knife from the case, or they hid it somewhere hard to find. Also, there's one more thing about this knife that's strange. There's some kind of paint that's been applied to the hilt. In the dim light beneath the table, it seems to glow dully. Could this be glowing paint? 
Wow. Okay. Knife, tape, Kuya's body. The body is collapsed face down under the table. As if he was in the middle of attempting something. It looks like he was... Oh, it looks like he was. According to the Monokuma file, he was repeatedly stabbed between the throat and abdominal region. Repeatedly stabbed. Would one of us really do something so horrible? Yo, little Trump was nowhere to be found. Where is he at? We gotta talk to him this episode too, bro. Oh, really? You ain't done enough? Blood stain. Here we go. Okay. The blood flowing from Kuya's body formed a huge pool under the table. That's a lot of blood. There's blood splattered everywhere. Even the inner side of the tablecloth is covered in blood. The blood might have splattered all over the place when he got stabbed. But there don't seem to be any drag marks leading from the bull from the blood pool. Right? Like, why is it all contained underneath this table? Did he... Did he kill him? Oh, oh, okay. All right, thank you. Let's let's leave him alone for now. Um, I'm sure I've pretty much investigated what's under the table. Despite the fact that it's just me, I think I'm working pretty hard. Even if it's just a little, I'm, I'm sure we're getting close to the truth behind Kuya's death. All right, um, let's start to the left. Oh, yeah, 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 hold up, hold up. Ah, this is the metal case Kuya had with him. And I believe he said it was made of Duralumin. The last time I saw it, it was closed, but there are a lot of odd things inside this case, like the nightstick and pepper spray. Mm -hmm. What's the, 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 uh, the headset carrying case? All right, plug the binoculars, night vision, sorry. I wonder what was inside. Come on, don't, don't act like Makoto, bro. But the one thing that really catches my attention is the small key. It must be the key to the other Duralumin case. Pocket that right now, brother. That other case was in the office and all of the collected dangerous items were inside of it. If the key to that Duralumin case is right here, then it's unlikely that the murder weapon used to kill Kuya was taken from that case. Which means, the weapons inside that Duralumin case aren't related to Kuya's murder. Even so, I still don't get it. Why did Kuya have this Duralumin case in the first place? A case packed with all of this security equipment? Maybe he was being extra cautious, just in case? No, that can't be right, that's way too overboard. Could he have known something was going to happen beforehand? And because of that, he went to all this trouble to be extra careful. Well, good good work, Kuya, you're dead. You had all these all these tools. You didn't plan for a blackout, man. None of us did, bro. I damn sure didn't. I was looking at that steak like, hello. Alright. Yeah. Oh, hellhound earring. Answer my call! Impossible! Is this effort futile as well? Hey, are you still looking for that earring you dropped? You! It is not a mere earring! It is the Hellhound earring! What? Fine. Long ago, in a faraway land, a beast known as the Hellhound was feared by all, even by who, by he who summoned it. Don't make fun of my speech. Well, this is certainly random. The Hellhound tore its way through innumerable battlefields. Its fangs glistened with blood, and its drenched blood-red fur would dry in the howling winds of loneliness. When I finally tamed the diabolical beast, I received an earring to commemorate that event. I'm about to get a headache, I'm done doing that. Shiver the Hellhound earring so that I may never forget the night I battled that fearsome Pomeranian. I wear that earring at all times. Was that really about a friggin' Pomeranian? Do you know how little a Pomeranian is, PG? Them dogs be the most vicious, so I get it. 
I understand it's important to you, but for now, we need to investigate. I won't let you! Where is it? Where did it disappear to? Maybe it fell underneath the floor? The carpet didn't cover the whole floor. It might have fallen through the gaps between the, expo the exposed floorboards. <laughs> so that's what's transpired. Such a clever little bobble. Gundam laughed uproariously as he walked towards the door and pressed his head against the gaps in the floor. Walked towards the wall, sorry. And peered beneath the floorboards. I can see it! Ah, there it is. I have found it! Truly! That is the Hellhound Earring! <laughs> <laughs> it seems God exists for my benefit. I see. Good for you. Satan will rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Let me ask. However, how do I recover it? I cannot fit my arm through this opening. Were I to use a tool, it would probably not reach it either. How about you use the four divas of destruction, dude? Send, send they fat ass down there and get that ring back. Then maybe you should just give up. What? Give up what? The world? I meant give up the earring, bro. You fool. Have you not yet realized? The world will come to an end if the human race were to lose that earring. You humans are so satisfied with clothing yourselves in layers of false knowledge. Message. You bridge, you will die. But even with all those layers, you still will not survive the winter. <laughs> Why <laughs> am I being scolded? Facts. Who are you, dude? Fine. It was foolish of me to rely on you fools. Fine. I shall do something about it on my own. Now if you'll excuse me, I must go save the world. He wants that earring back by any means necessary. His determination is truly inspiring. Or he knew something was going on in this room, didn't want to be involved in investigation, used his earring as a way out of the space. Hmm. But it'd be nice if he actually helped me with the investigation. Gaps in floorboard has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. All right, I miss my hero, Mahi Mahi. Oh, she broken. Mahi, my hero, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. What's going on? Is that what you expected me to say? Because I feel terrible. One minute Kuya is alive and well, and and in an instant something awfully, something awful suddenly happens. Don't talk to me while I'm mad. Of course I'm not fine. Why? And not only that, but whoever killed them is one of us, right? I mean, that hasn't really been determined yet. It's already been determined. You've already accepted it, haven't you? This is the worst. That we have to find out who the killer is. Find out which friend killed our friend. I don't like it either, but... We won't survive if we don't go through with it. It's not just for yourself. We have to do it to protect all of us. She's not hearing none of that noise. If if I had only acted calmer during the blackout, Kuya might still be alive. This is the worst. This whole thing would have never happened. Stop blaming yourself. Nothing good will come of it. We really are our worst enemies, bruh. It don't matter what's going on in our lives. We could be looking at rainbows, gold, and big booty. We still find a way to talk ourselves out of not deserving it. Like, be like, well, I mean, I didn't really go to church last Sunday, so should I be out here sinning? Or, I mean, I ain't really working as hard as I should have, but should I still take that money? Or, man, I ain't really been to the gym, so should I really eat that cake? Like, bro, live life. Enjoy life in the moments because in the end, all you really have is memories. Is that Big Sean? I hope I sung his song right, but that's true, bro. You know, you gotta you gotta stay in the moment if you're trying to make incredible moments. You can't be always thinking about the future. You can't always be dwelling on the past. You can't always be blaming yourself either, bro. Relax. Jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. Getting cheered up by a boy isn't like me at all. Got it? Hey, Haji. Forget about what I just said, okay? Got it? Yeah, 
That's fine. I got it. Hmm. Anyway, I won't dwell on it for now. I can't become a burden to everyone. Plus, there might be a clue that only I have access to. A clue? Hey. Photos. The ones I took just before the blackout, remember? Ooh! Hey, cool, yeah, everyone, come on. I'm gonna take a picture. All right, say cheese. If you don't develop that right now. Oh, yeah, the, the pictures. Mm. Wanna see them? I have a digital camera so I can show you. Give me that camera. Really, please. Um. Okay, no nothing suspicious, nothing suspicious. Nagi look fucking nuts back there, though. Let's see. It's oh, let's see. It's this photo. Oh, that's that was her. Hmm. A and this one. Okay. Nothing out of the ordinary. One more, please. Fuck. Now, I took these two photos right before the blackout, but huh? Huh? Is some? Oh, that's me. Is something wrong? Hmm. I didn't realize it until just now, but right before the blackout, Kuya was standing in a totally different place than where we found him. Wasn't his body under that table with the lamp on top of it? The one underneath the monitor. Prior to that, Kuya was standing along the wall the farthest away from that table. You're right, that's pretty far. There's something. Everyone's standing position before the blackout might be a huge clue. Hey, can you approximate everybody's standing position from these photos? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. It'd be hard to understand from the photos alone, so it might be better for me to plot it out. Hmm. But would that actually provide a clue? I don't know yet, but I feel like it could. Leave it to me. Got it. Then leave it to me. That's pretty much the only job I can do anyway. Thank you. I'm all right. Now that that's decided. You better do your best. You better work hard on your investigation too. How much longer are you planning to stand around? Do you understand? Yes, I understand. I'm the one that helped you out. Y yeah, I know, but it's good she's all fired up now, but she's a totally different person now than when she was feeling down. Facts. It's them Geminis, bro. We I know about you Geminis. My sister's a Gemini. Y'all motherfuckers. Hey. I mean, she's not a she's not an mf'er. I'm sorry, Renisha. You're not an mf'er, but Gemini's period. The generalization, y'all 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 flip flip flop. Hey, Hajime, there's something I want to run by you. Before the blackout occurred, Kuya was in the dining hall with the rest of us, right? Yeah, that's right. Hmm. And if Kuya's dead body was discovered after the blackout, then don't you think he died during the blackout? Now that you mention it, don't be Makoto, do not do Makoto shit. But why was Kuya's body under the table? Even if the killer tried to hide him, it's not like he would have stayed hidden forever. Isn't it confusing? You're absolutely right. It's, it seems finding out what exactly happened during the blackout is key to solving the mystery. There's no way I'd know. It was so dark during the blackout, I couldn't see a thing. That's not it. Although, if seeing was impossible, then there's a possibility someone might have heard something. Nagi working pretty hard. I don't think he. I don't think he gets upset. I don't think he, how did the, How did the knife get under the table though? That's what I'm having trouble understanding right now. Heard something. Are, are you talking about her? I must, I, I must investigate my classmate's body. <laughs> yes, I'm the one who has medical knowledge. <laughs> That's why I need to do it. To do, do it somehow. Yo, before you start, why don't you calm down a bit? Aww. You, you're right. I need to calm down first. I, I, I'm careless enough as it is. That's. Pretty obvious from how you fell earlier. Legs spread open, salad out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> salad tossed. I'm terribly sorry about that. 
for, for showing you something so unsightly. I'm sure my subscribers enjoyed it a little bit. <gasps> yeah, you made me remember it again. And here we are. Spread Eagle is said. That shit says Spread Eagle. Uh, I made such a fool of myself in front of everyone. You got sausage links around your legs and arms. Golly. Forget making a fool of yourself. How in the world did you end up like that? Um, well, I got startled by the blackout, slipped on the carpet, and once I was struggling to get back up... Oh, it's so embarrassing! Please! Please erase it from your memory! E even if you ask me, I won't be able to forget it so easy. Sorry. I can't stand it. Why is this a true- Bro, Spike is on some other, other shit. Spike is a real freak league, man. I'm out of here. What? What else? Am I supposed to ask? Wait, hear something? Why was she? Jeez. Okay, okay, here we go. All right. Ooh, her, her, both of them hers. Okay. Yeah, it's just as my hero said. Where Kuyu was standing before the blackout is really far away from the table where his body was found. Got it. You've seen this, so just get on with it already. You better conduct a thorough investigation. I, I, I know. I can't. Is it the food? Such a huge table. There's nothing much out of the ordinary. Um. Okay, so we talked to Nagi, Nakan, my hero. Okay, so are you gonna go check him now? You gonna report back? Okay. Dude. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. That is a real pervy combo. Maybe it's you again. Hmm. Perhaps. It points me right back to her, but like, you ain't saying nothing. Click all the tables. Yeah, we we know it. they just they just watching. They always watching. They check the windows. All right. Um, the AC. Okay, maybe. Okay. Hmm. Air conditioner. Could it be? Hey, all of you. Why can't you act a little more grown up? Hmm. What was that sound just now? This air conditioner is probably the only machine inside this room. In the air conditioner's remote control, the timer is set to 11.30 p.m. I'm pretty sure Kuya's time of death was around the same time. If so, that means that mechanical sound before the blackout, it probably came from this air conditioner. My flashes of inspiration aren't as bad as I thought. AC timer has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. I'm out of here. Hajime. Ah, Hajime. A moment. Hmm? What is it? Hey, when we're finished with the investigation here, would you like to hear what everyone has to say together? If I go by myself, some people might not talk to me out of caution. Well, we've been told that one of us is a killer. It can't be helped if everyone's on edge right now. But why me? <laughs> You're, you're easy to talk to, and I feel like you have a scent similar to mine. We both harbor special feelings towards Hope Speak Academy. Isn't that right? Well, yeah, but fine. If we're going together, let's get on with it. There's no time for idle chit-chat. Thanks. I'm glad. It'll be a great help. 
special feelings, huh? Whoa. Even so, what he said about us being similar, I don't think I agree. Now then. And I guess, for now, we should search the insides of this old building and listen to what others have to say. Not just the dining hall. I think we should consider this whole building the scene of the crime. After all, the blackout that took place at the time would have happened throughout this entire building. Yeah, you're right. Where you at? Wow, hi, Ibuki. I see, I see. Apparently, a great man once said, investigation should be done on foot. So that's why I'm using oh, that's why I'm also using my feet. I'm just walking around for no particular reason. Well, if there's no reason then there's no meaning. Hey, hey, Najime, I just realized something. Could she, by any chance, know what happened during the blackout? Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. Let's start asking Are you women. Serious? Now. Eh? How'd you know? <laughs> so you did hear us. Even though Haji and I were talking pretty softly just now. <laughs> Not only do I have a perfect face, style, and personality, but I also have perfect ears. I see. If your hearing is so good, maybe you heard what actually happened in the blackout. Hey. When the blackout happened, you could hear everybody's voice throughout the dining hall, right? We couldn't tell, but you would have been able to make out who's who, right? <laughs> Just leave it to Pookie. It'll be easy as fried rice with gravy. Huh? <laughs> Lolly la la! I'll hardly eat it for breakfast. I see. Oh, you mean like it'll be easy as pie? Except eating fried rice with gravy for breakfast is kind of heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Any fried rice that isn't fried rice with gravy is so wrong. <laughs> She should make a metaphor with oh she should make a metaphor with a more common type of fried rice like egg fried rice or, or lettuce fried rice anyway can you tell oh sorry anyway can you tell us what you heard i got it leave it to me i'm gonna take a bite out of you yep if you tell us i'll let you bite haji later stop it what if she takes you seriously Aww. let's see the first person who raised their voice during the blackout was that's right it was my hero it's a blackout okay 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 that, that, okay next was kazuchi's voice and then the next voice was mine hey i can't see anything it's pitch black my future is pitch black <laughs> <laughs> what a nice remark I made. It's to the point and it has its own unique charm. She want that. I'm not even gonna say what she want. It's three letters. Just continue. Then there were more voices, one after the other. Uh, everyone, calm down. We gotta stay calm in a situation like this. Okay. Ah, don't step on my feet. Put it on what auto. the hell? What's going on here? Okay, so he was fine right there. <laughs> this is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! Why did Nagi say ow? You guys? Where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Nobody oh, heard all them stabs? I'll go along the wall and do something about it. Alrighties, that's pretty much it. What? Why did Nagi say ow? <laughs> Aren't I awesome? Praise me. Praise me. Give me lots of praise. I, I heard you the first time. Seriously, don't get any closer. Hey, Nagi, say something to her. Hey, did something happen? Look at him, y'all. No. I was just thinking about what Kuya said during the blackout. What Kuya said? Hey, why did he say something like that? Why did you say something like that? Rather, why was he able to say that? What the hell? What's going on here? And th this is... What do you mean? Hmm. About that, 
why don't we discuss it after we've investigated a little bit more? For now, I can't really say anything for certain. Well, it's not like I really care. Yep. Anyway, don't you think Ibuki's account just now is an important clue that will lead us to the truth? Yeah! Then praise me! Let me bite you! Ouch! Why are you really biting me? Freak, bro. She might be the freakiest in the game. Sorry, Akani. I found a new bay. Her name is Ibuki. Ibuki, what it smell like? Ugh, I'm a freak. Right. Um. Um. There is something I want to ask you. What is it? Um. It is strange. No. It appears that only the wall is that all, that only that wall is different color in the material. Why is that? Perhaps. Oh, it's probably a fire door. Fire door? Hmm? You never seen one of these before? Me neither, bro. Oh, it's a door that shuts to keep fire from spreading by containing it. If that happens, you can run away, right? Wow! I see. It, 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 it's like a barrier, just like lining up plastic bottles around the house. That's only done to keep cats from getting in. <laughs> you know what about keeping cats from getting inside, but you don't know about fire doors? I am ashamed! Truly, I am culturally ignorant. I am ashamed of myself. Can we go inside? Oh, the door swings open and blocks. Okay, I got you now. I got you now. So these are... I see a lot of these in, like, conference halls or, like, restaurants or something like that. Okay. It just goes from the wall, shields off the hallway. Got you, got you, got you, got you. Where are, all the, where are the knives at that was right here? Bro, where, where are the knives at? Hey, were you in the kitchen during the blackout, Teru Teru? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that, that blackout totally startled me. At first, I thought it was just in the kitchen. But when I finally managed to get out of the kitchen, the hallway was pitch black too. Why are you sweating, dude? And then, I heard everybody's voices, so I fumbled along the wall and tried to feel my way to the dining hall. That place was pitch black too. It was like pitch black everywhere. Couldn't you have used that kitchen stove as a light? No, 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 no. Uh, that's impossible. This gas stove needs electricity to work, so it was directly affected by the blackout. I see, then I guess it's not possible. Haji, great, great work pressing, bro. Excellent work so far. Since you work with fire in the kitchen, I figured you'd be able to use it as a light source or something, but I guess it's not that easy. Is that a really a truth bullet? I feel like a lie grenade. Alright, that was whack. Um, there are no knives right here on it. Bro, can we ask him about the dam? Ooh, 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 okay. Kuya must have confiscated all the dangerous items on the kitchen's- Ah, oh, there we go, on the kitchen's equipment list. I forgot about that. Well, just from reading through this list, it looks like the knife next to Kuya's body didn't come from the kitchen. It appears to have been brought from outside. From outside? Then how did the killer get past Kuya's body check? That's weird. Strange, isn't it? I mean, he didn't even go easy on the girls when he was performing the pat-downs. If that's the case, they probably brought the knife in advance and hid it somewhere. Haji, you're looking at one of the main suspects able to do something like that. This dude didn't want nobody going in the old building cleaning with him. Hey, still, it's surprising how much equipment this kitchen has. Nice diversion, bitch. There are iron plates for barbecuing and even a portable stove for cooking hot, spot, hot pots. But this is all stuff that doesn't pertain to the murder. So I guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I agree. We gotta find out what's in that box, brother. And we still need to talk to, uh, Little Trump. Hey, since we've come all this way, let's investigate this area just for the heck of it. There's a chance there might be some sort of clue here. Well, we're done here then. Oh, we're not? All right. Yeah, why is this light working? Hold on. Oh, it's the food, okay. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? That meat is so big. Even I was shocked. Of course you were, well, freak. 
Guess that's about it. It's a dish fit for a tropical island. I'd never be able to get meat like this in Oyama or Azabu. I'd never be able to get meat like this in my hometown, much less Oyama or Azubu. I get it, you don't have to repeat yourself. But it's so big, where did you get it? <laughs> I asked Nekumaru. Apparently, he killed the cow at the ranch with his bare hands and brought it over. Neko, you talking about big, oh, we gotta talk to him too. He can't just run off and not, his bare hands. <laughs> it's a little hard to believe, but it doesn't seem completely impossible either. This dude's lying, he's lying. He's lying. The reason he ran out the building is because mechanic dude Soda told us that he's lighthearted. He's not a killer. So why would, ooh, we got him. We got him. We got him. Don't play with me like I don't know how to do this dang it rope bull. No, I'm nice. Play with me. Those hands of his, they look like they specialize in punching things. I wouldn't want to get punched by those hands. Mm -hmm. Seriously, Nekumaro is so wild. He's totally right at home in a country setting. I'm so jealous. My hometown is near Ayomi and Azabu. So wild country things like that. They slip my mind a lot, you know? Damn. Liar. Well, I guess this meat has gone to waste. Since this awfulness happened right when the party started. The, on oh. <clears throat> the only ones who ate any food were Akane and Pekko, who took some portions for herself. Eh? Don't say that. After I worked so hard to cook the world's most refined party dishes, only two people actually tasted them? To tell you the well, truth. Well, it's not like I actually believe it, but if there really is a killer out there, I'll probably never be able to forgive that killer. He's scary when he's mad. He's a fucking actor. Look at his face. It's not believable. I guess I'm pretty much finished investigating the kitchen for now. Nagito, let's get going. You're right. Yeah, sure thing. We out. The shake, we out. So that was the kitchen. Let's see what's around the corner. Oh, oh I guess we're gonna talk about it now. Mm -hmm. How come Kuya was able to say something like that in the darkness? Like, what the, okay. It makes me wonder. Let's get him inside this, uh... Yeah, let's open up that, uh, Duralumen and see what's going on inside. I really, I really caught him in his lie, dude. Ugh, that feels amazing. This storage room is really dusty and dark. Wow. My hands were full cleaning the dining hall, so I couldn't even touch this room. It even has cobwebs. There's no way I could stay in here for a long time. Let's look at the irons. Hmm, are these irons? It looks like they were recently turned on, but why are there three irons on this ironing board? Hmm. Just as I thought. Your eyes don't miss a thing. When I was looking for Kuyo after the blackout, I also found these irons, but when I found them, all three of them were turned on. Turned on? Yep. It'd be bad if another blackout happened, so I turned them off. But doesn't this feel kind of sinister? Sinister. Why, why would an iron even be involved in this murder? I'm trying to think, the tablecloths maybe, but... And why would they need to be pressed like that? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he was trying to seal the paint on the tape and... I don't know. I don't know. There's an awful lot of boxes. We don't have time to go through each and every one of them. And I guess I should leave them alone. Yep. A wise decision. Next free time, I'm going to level up our friendship, bro. He, he, he on it right now. There's... A huge piece of cloth randomly shoved in here. Perhaps? Is this a tablecloth? Oh, a tablecloth? Wait, 
Now hold on. There's something on it. Is this a blood stain? Huh? A blood stain? Come here, take a closer look, dude. But it's too dark. I can't really see that clearly, but I'm seeing it. There's no mistaking it. This is clearly a blood stain, which means this tablecloth is connected to Kuya's murder, right? Well, if that tablecloth has a blood stain on it, then it's a possibility. Seriously, it is a blood stain. Are you. See, as soon as I say some cool shit about you, bro, you start to create immense doubt in my system. Hajime. How much longer are you gonna stay in this dark place? You're just wasting your time. Let's move on and investigate other places already. Huh? Oh, I get it. You're right. Why are you trying to rush me out of here? Hold on. Stacks of clean table. It looks like they haven't been used yet. I guess there's nothing strange here. Yo, we, we can shake, but golly. That was a little, that was a little telling. That was a little telling what you just did. All right, all right, all right. So you just stand there and ask that. I'm gone. We already talked. We already talked. The bathroom. The bathroom. <sighs> hey! Oh, there we go. We knocked on the door and tried calling out to whoever was on the other side, but... <sighs> There's no response. This is going nowhere. I guess we should give up for now and check out... Check on it later. Yeah, you're right. So we decided to hide it in the office, that Duralumin box. That's right. Uh, what's her name should be in here too? Peku Peku? What's up, Peku? Come here, let me talk. Hajime. The old building circuit breaker should be inside this office. Circuit breaker, huh? It might be related to the blackout. So, it's better if we check out the circuit breaker first. Uh, is that it all the way up there? Alright. That must be this old building circuit breaker. The blackout probably happened because of this. I see. Mm. It doesn't look like someone did anything to it. Nothing else looks suspicious e either. The circuit breaker is pretty high up. Even if you use a step ladder, you won't reach it. Hmm. Yeah, I totally agree. That's why it's so mysterious. Well, during the blackout, I was panicking so bad I forgot about that. But you're right. Even with the step ladder, there's no way you'd be able to reach that circuit breaker. Which means someone must have reset the breaker after the blackout. But who? Ta da! I did it! Whoa! It's here! Actually, you idiots had no idea what to do about the blackout, so I'm the one who reset the breaker. By the way. Uh, by the way, I'm not the one who tripped the breaker. The killer did that, of course. But how did someone as small as you reset the breaker? Hey, um... Well, firstly, my eyes work real good at night. So I have no trouble seeing in the dark. And if you want to know how I reach the circuit breaker, my body stretches. <laughs> Period. You know, I'm very elastic. I won't be fooled. L liar! It's... I'm serious, wanna see? No, no. Wanna see a version of Monokuma with his body all stretched out? It's gross. It's grotesque. No, no. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> Just imagining it makes me wanna puke. Oh really? Such a shame. So cool. Still, don't you think Monokuma's such a nice guy? In, in a popularity contest, he'd take first place. I see. What the hell? So he's the one who reset the breaker. Well, in that case, I'm convinced. There's no way we'd be able to reach that. If that's the case, how did the killer trip the circuit breaker? If they didn't trip it or set it to be tripped, that looks like maybe like a stand or something, or, or a, I don't know, a curtain rod, something, something. Oh, nice. Uh, I've been Yo, Monokuma. Monokuma. Monokuma just living his best life. Let's open up this Duralumin, though. This Duralumin case. It should contain all the dangerous items Kuya collected. Hey. 
Maybe we should check inside, just to be safe. But it's locked. Yep. Clea had the key to this particular Duralumin case with him. You have the key in your pocket, dude. Check, oh nice. I brought it with me so there's no need to worry. Hey, is it okay if we take that key without permission? Now, now. It's forbidden to tamper with the crime scene. But if we don't, we can't check inside this case, right? <laughs> so uh, I should open it. This guy, he doesn't feel any remorse. See? Okay, let me see what's inside. Oh my gosh. Forks, knives, iron skewers, and various tools are scrammed inside. But it's not possible that the killer took anything from here. Because the key to this case was inside the key, the case Kuya had with him. I guess you're right about that. That that skewer looked like something he could just poke up, which is also a fucking cooking tool that what's his name has. Maybe. Hey, isn't Pecco the killer? Why do you think that? I mean. Well, she wandered off somewhere, even though she was supposed to be in the office. When we were looking for Kuya after the blackout, I went to the office right away, but. When I got here, she was gone. Well... No, I shouldn't say this too loudly, or, or else Miss Sonya will yell at me. Hmm. He want Miss Sonya cake bad. Pecco's probably the only one who tripped the circuit breaker and used the blackout to her advantage to kill Kuya. I mean, Pecco hey. do got that big ass sword thing. And don't think she... And don't you think she looks kind of ruthless too? Like, like an assassin, right? Well, it's not like you look any better. So we taking testimonies now, huh? That's that's new. <laughs> I can already tell. You doubt me, correct? Huh? <sighs> However, it does not surprise me. An unexpected blackout occurred, and during that time, Kuya was killed. Anyway. The circuit breaker is in this office. Naturally, I look suspicious since I was supposed to be here. Wait! Supposed to be here? Does that mean I see? So I was right! You weren't in the office! But why? Weren't you supposed to guard the circuit breaker? And the Dear Lumen case with all the weapons in it? Huh? So, where'd you run off to on your own? Well... Well, that is... <clears throat> Pecco suddenly dropped to one knee and started groaning on the spot. You pregnant? Hey, what happened? <sighs> no... <sighs> I am just not feeling too well. I apologize, but I excuse me. What? Like, the no, no, heck? no, no, no! Do, do not, do not let her out that door, Soda. Hey, Pecco. It appears the bathroom inside this old building is currently occupied, so I recommend either the hotel lobby or your cottage. What? Are y'all in on it? To who is the killer? Who's the killer? Oh. <laughs> it seems like it will be a tough path. With cold sweat dripping from her forehead, Pecco wobbled out the office. W what happened to her? <laughs> it's kind of hard for me to say it myself. I already feel bad enough for Pecco as it is. What does that mean? Huh? I mean, is it cool? She didn't like, run away or something. That's right! Cause if she ran away, she's obviously the killer! I'm almost positive! Hmm, is that really what it is? Can we look in here again? Oh, what is this? Is this the desk the staff used for busy work? Hmm. There's nothing in particular that catches my eye. I want to see what's in this Duralumin. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, okay, okay. That's that's what you're telling me right now, but. Yes. The timer here is set to 11.30. Wasn't the timer for the air conditioner dining hall set? Yes, it was. What would, what would that mean though? That the air conditioner is triggering the breaker? Oh, maybe they're overloading the AC at the same time, forcing the breaker to, to flip off. Oh, you know what? The same thing happened to this house over here, bro. Well, not really, but there was this one. There was this one night, bro, because you know, 
You know, in Houston, the weather is terrible out here sometimes. Like, during the sun, it don't matter what time of the year, bro. If it's hot, it's super hot. If it's cold, it's super, super wet and rainy. It was one of those nights. And the thunder hit, or the lightning hit, then you hear the thunder. And as soon as that, that thunder hit, bro, all the power went off in here. Circuit overload. Now then. We out the shake. All right, have we looked through the entire? Yep. Okay, it looks like you've pretty much finished looking around the old building. Hey, so how about we check out Kuya's cottage? Kuya's cottage. Yep. There might be clues there, so I thought it'd be a good to check it out just in case. But I was scared I might encounter some danger if I went there by myself. Well, I don't really mind going there together, but. Aren't you worried about the possibility that I might be that danger? Ooh. Hey. You mean, am I worried about you being the killer? <laughs> to be honest, I don't think you're the killer. In fact, I can't even imagine it. It's like, instead of living with doubt in others, it's so much better to die believing in others. Don't talk like that. We're doing this so we can live, you know? I see. And as I thought, you sure are strong. You are definitely the chosen one. Chosen by Hope Speak Academy. Alright! Alright, then let's get going! To Kuya's cottage! Yeah. I don't know why, but every time we talk, I don't really know how I'm supposed to react. That moment I left the old building, there was a strange scene unfolding before me. What the f***? Hey, what are you doing? I don't even know why I cussed at them like that. They're they, they looking for clues. What do, you, what do you mean, what are they doing? They're out there trying to find the murderer. What am I doing, you say? Ha! Now that is truly a foolish question. Gundam got the best um, voice. We're just checking to see if we can get under the floor from here. Ooh, trying to get his ring back. Under the floor? Why? Haji, come on, dude. Who said it was futile? Who decided it was impossible? How did you know I cannot recover my earring? If it is possible to get under the floor, it'll change our understanding of the murder, I think. So I thought it was important to check it. Whoa. Come back to I me, see. Focus. I see. Under the floor, huh? I never considered thinking of it like that. What do you mean? See? Come on, think about it. Hey. The carpet I laid didn't reach the table where we found Kuya's body, right? Oh my gosh! And the dining hall floor had huge gaps between the floorboards. Then, is it possible that the killer killed Kuya by stabbing him from beneath the floor? Yep. That's what I thought, so I'm trying to see if we can get it under it from here. That's through the bathroom, bruh. Well, mm -hmm. hmm, I guess it's not possible to get under the floor from outside. The building is surrounded by firm fences, so there's no way to sneak under the floor from there. But, even so, I couldn't find a way to get under the floor from inside the building either. Do you think there's a possibility that there's a hidden hole somewhere? Wow. No. That's, that's not possible. Are you sure? At any rate, it seems you can't get under the floor from outside the building. That's a relief. Relief? Why? Because if you could get under the floor from the outside, there'd only be one logical suspect. <sighs> Little Trump. Little Trump. Wow. Fuyuhiko. So... I suspected him too. That's why I was checking to see if it's possible to get under the floor from outside. Well? Speaking of which, not long after I began guarding the entrance, Fuyuhiko came here. He, he did? Huh? What happened, Fuyuhiko? Huh? Uh, oh, hey. What are you doing here? All alone at a place like this? Yep. I'm standing guard so Monokuma doesn't come inside. Huh. <laughs> How diligent of you. Hey, hey. You're not coming to the party? What are you saying? Hell no, not even if you paid me. 
Parties are stupid. They make me want to fucking puke. She's stunned, bro. You want to come to the party, right? Isn't that why you came here? You. Of, of course not. I was just going for a damn walk. What? Do I have to report to you every time I want to go for a fucking walk? That's wrong. No, it's not like that. But hm. then leave me alone. And then, he just left. So that happened, but why did he come here? See? He probably wants to be a part of the group, but he can't be honest about it. He believes he's different from everyone else. That's why he's all alone. Hey, hey. He's like the main character of an RPG. Have you played those before? When did we start talking about video games? Okay. I see. Even though we don't really know what he's thinking, I don't think we have any reason to doubt him. I'm glad. That's a relief. I'm glad. You keep saying you're glad, but we have no idea who the killer is, bro. <laughs> well, I guess for now we should stick to the plan and head over to Kuya's cottage. <laughs> as long as the probability is greater than zero, that will suffice. I have not unleashed even half of my power yet. I will most assuredly reclaim the Hellhound earring with my own two hands! It seems he has no intention of investigating. So Takuya- oh, here we go. Kill two birds with one stone. Huh? What the hell? Didn't I, didn't I tell you to leave me alone? It's not happening. Didn't you hear Monokuma's announcement? Ugh, how'd you like that energy? Of course I did. Apparently, Kuya is the one who got killed. <laughs> so what? What did you just say? Do you think I'm the killer? Think whatever you want. I'm used to being mistrusted. That's not why I'm... What? Whatever. Just tell me what you were doing while everyone else was at the party. Huh? <laughs> Checking my alibi, huh? <laughs> well, I don't have one. I was just chilling in my cottage all by myself during that time. The whole time? Because Chiaki said she saw you in front of the old building, little bitch. Shut up! Ch nosy bitch. Jeez. It's true. I went for a little walk, and then, just by chance, I ended up passing by the old building. Were you really going for a walk? Don't tell me you were actually trying to join the party. Don't fuck with me! Why, why the hell would I do that? It's a coincidence. A coincidence! All right, <laughs> all right, I got it, <laughs> dumbass. But we can't take that story into account. That, that's not a truth bullet. <laughs> okay. All right. Now then, we must head over to Kuya's cottage. If you get lost, check the map in the student handbook. Bro, just tell me where. Oh, okay, he was next to me. Wow, neighbors. R.I.P. Huh? It's locked. Hey. Uh, sorry. I guess. <clears throat> I guess. But we need to ask him for help. Monokuma. Hey! Did you call me? N Nagito, when did you train Monokuma? Hey. Hey, Monokuma. I was wondering if you could do us a favor. There's something we want to investigate. What's this? Hey, who are you talking to? That's just my after image. <laughs> when I get serious, my after image is unleashed. What? I can even play soccer by myself as long as I have this cloning technique. Though it'd be boring to play alone. I don't have time for this. Just hurry up and open Kuya's cottage already. Well, this is for the class trial. It, it's something we really need. Hmm? For the class trial? This is hmm. troubling. If it's for the class trial, there's no way I can refuse. Now then, there's only one spell that can open these doors. Ba -ba -ba okay, let's say the Lord rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And the door is open. He's a, he's a wizard. You. So I've unlocked the door. Now you can investigate to your heart's content. Why does it open with the magic spell? Jeez. It's probably powered by electricity. At any rate, that performance was a waste of time. I see. I guess we should go inside. Then. You're right. All 
All right, let's see what he's got going on. First thing I noticed, envelope on the desk. Let's see, let's see. There's an envelope on the table. Is it a letter someone sent to Kuya? That's weird. There's no sender. That looks pretty suspicious. Hajime. You should check what's inside. Yeah, you're right. Let's see. Be careful. The first kill will happen tonight. Someone will definitely kill someone. This... This is... This is... Is this... A crime warning? No. And if it says be careful, it's probably a threatening letter. Regardless, who would send something like this? Maybe... Hey! This is why Kuya suddenly decided to throw a party. Huh? The first kill will happen tonight. Because someone made this threat to Kuya, he gathered everyone in one area and was extremely cautious about all the dangerous items. He was trying to create a scenario in which everyone could monitor each other. He, he thought if he did that, nobody would be able to kill anyone. So, you believe this crazy letter. But he couldn't ignore the possibility of this happening, even if it was just a worst case scenario. Hey, remember what Kuya kept saying? How he wouldn't let anyone become a victim? He couldn't overlook that sim slim possibility just to keep his promise. Then why did he keep it a secret if he had just told us? No. Nope. He probably couldn't. He probably thought that was also a worst case scenario. Yeah, what do you mean by that, dude? Mm. If everyone knew what was inside this letter, whether it's a lie or not, everyone would have likely begun to doubt each other. And at that point, there'd be no turning back. So Kuya tried to do something about this all by himself without telling anyone. Yep. His strong sense of responsibility is the only explanation I can think of. Anyway, whoever sent Kuya this letter also killed him. Is that what you're saying? Sorry. No, this could be a prank, and it might have nothing to do with Kuya's death at all. What was that? Oh, hmm, what was that? He suddenly became really quiet. I see, he doesn't want to believe one of us could be a killer. But still, we've come all the way here, and it's the only thing I can think of. The person who wrote this letter murdered Kuya. If that's the case, that person completely predicted how Kuya would react once he received it, right? They planned to manipulate Kuya and killed him right before our eyes, in that old building. Damn it. Who the hell would do that? Hey! Haji, there's probably not much time left until the class trial starts. Probably. <laughs> ah, which reminds me, you asked Mahiro for a favor earlier, right? Yeah, I wanted her to find out where everybody was, where, where everybody was standing just before the blackout. Sorry, she's probably finished by now. You're coming with me, right? Sorry, that's all you, huh? I need some time alone. I'd like some time to collect my thoughts. You mean your alibi for when you get ready to get get chosen as a black end? I know. I, I see. I no, I really don't think it's him. Hey. Also. If you're going back to the old building, you should hear what McCann has to say as well. I think the results of her autopsy should be ready by now. Bye now. I'll see you later. He was pretty pale. I wonder if he's okay. But now's not the time for me to worry about Nagito. There isn't much time left. I better hurry over to the old building. Let me just... No, I'm, just I'm not gonna do any voice, I'm just gonna read. Alright, we out. Alright, back to the old building, and I believe that's time for the trial. Where am I? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, we haven't talked to Manomi yet. T 
too cruel. This is just too cruel. Oh yeah, I might as well ask her about the old building's windows. Hey, you have a sec? I want to ask you something. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to help you guys mistrust your friends. What the hell? It's not like we're doing this because we want to. No, now's not the time to fight about stuff like that. Do you know why the old building's windows are covered? Huh? The iron plates? I covered them up, so nobody makes the mistake of going inside, since it's dangerous because of the renovation. I see, the renovation. So that's why you covered them up. <laughs> because it's dangerous to go inside. Danger isn't supposed to exist on this island. <laughs> this isn't how it was supposed to be. But why did it get like this? It's cruel. <laughs> Cruel. Just because it's cruel doesn't mean you can just keep crying like that. Crying won't solve anything. We have to do this no matter what, damn it. Move. <laughs> I think that's him right there. What the? The hell was that loud voice just now? It's gotta be him in the bathroom, dude. The bathroom seems to be open. But I don't really need to go right now. There's. Are you. Are you. Is he serious? Is he serious? Oh my gosh. Yep. Oh, okay, okay. I feel so lighthearted right now. I, Nekomaru Nidai, have been reborn. I have no intention of losing anymore. Losing to who? Oh. I won't lose to anyone. Not even to my past self. That sounds cool and all, but what are you even talking about? What? I don't know who was behind it, but someone tried to make a shitty bastard out of me. Some scoundrel was occupying the bathroom before the party was about to start. Now that you mention it, you said something like that shortly after the party started. I remember I was there. I've been there. I was there. Get your, get your finger out your nose. However, if you think I'd be angered by something like that, You've all underestimated my nerve and patience. Do all and achieve all with one's presence of mind. That is the goal of a true leader. In other words, a leader must never falter in any situation, but always have the presence of one's mind. He says that, but I'm pretty sure he was shaken up by that whole mm, shitty ordeal. Oh well, best not to go into it. Anyway. So you're saying the bathroom door was shut from before the party started to after the blackout? So what I mean is... And the bathroom was finally unoccupied after Kuya's body was found. That's about how long that lasted. What he said sounds stupid and irrelevant, but I should remember it just in case. Oh, get out of my way, doodoo -doo. -doo pants. Doodoo -doo booty. Hey, doodoo -doo booty. All right. Uh, so we're gonna talk to Makan first, your little opsopsy report. Uh, I can tell you a little bit of what I want to say. Did you find out anything? Um, I tried, with, within reason, to perform an autopsy on Kuya's body. And I discovered that there were several puncture wounds around Kuya's chest and abdominal region. Deep wounds. Deep enough to reach his lungs and internal organs. It can be assumed that a very thin, sharp object around five millimeters in diameter was used to stab him over and over again, which is what I believe. Are you okay? I'm sorry. Talking about it made me sad. No need to push yourself. I mostly got the gist of what you wanted to say. <laughs> I'm sorry! Still, around five millimeters in diameter, huh? Isn't that pretty thin? It's as thin as an ice pick or an awl. What are those? Are you just saying that the knife wasn't... Oh yeah, that knife is way bigger than five millimeters. Whoa! And here we get to the, 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 hey. the real me. Hey, you're here. Where the hell did you wander off to? I wasn't wondering. I was investigating as much as I could. 
I see. Well, if you weren't slacking off, then I guess it's fine. Did you find anything? Hmm. Yeah, sorta. You don't sound too sure. Hey. Well, just take a look at this. Um. Just as you told me, using the two photos I took before the blackout, I tried to pinpoint where everyone was standing. When I did, this diagram was the result. Excellent work! So this is everyone's standing position before the blackout. Everyone's pretty much in the dining hall. Except for three people we don't know. Fuyuhiko, Chiaki, and Teru Teru. And Peko, damn. And I've made this diagram from analyzing those photos, so I'm, I'm pretty sure it's accurate. Just as I thought. Kuya was standing a far distance from that table. It's impossible. There's no way he'd be able to move that far during the blackout. Huh? What's this line extending from the table where Kuya was killed? Um... um it's, it's the desk lamp. I, I drew the power cord for it just in case. The power cord for the desk lamp? That cord is extending from the table where Kuya was killed. That means... I hate when they do that. What are you trying to tell me right there? If the desk lamp extended that far from the wall, what are... That's like the one thing that I would love to know right now, but this nigga... Oh my gosh. All right. So, did you find something? Mm, it's not clear to me yet, but... Hmm. I, I guess you're right. I didn't really understand it myself when I was drawing it. I have a feeling that it's either a potential clue or just a waste of labor. No, it wasn't a waste at all. Huh? Huh? It's not clear to me yet, but there's no mistake that a clue is hidden here. An extremely important clue. Excellent investigation. Oh my gosh. The first one, I'm, I'm loving it. Alrighty, guys! It's finally time! That's right! It's time for the long-awaited class trial! Now then, I shall tell you all the meeting place. At the central island of Jabberwock Island, there is a mountain with my adorable face carved into it. That, my friends, is Monokuma Rock! Once you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. <laughs> I'll see you soon. A mountain with the carving of Monokuma's face at the central island. I know exactly what it is. I think it's right here to the right, actually. Thing in Ropa has an excellent OST, bro. Original soundtrack for those of you who are curious what I meant. All right, here we go. This dude really think he a president or some shit. Huh? Are you kidding me? Wait, when did that get here? Never mind that. How did they even make a mountain shaped like Monokuma? No way. That story, that story might be true after all. There might be an enormous organization involved in all this. You mean what Kuya said before, right? You are right. Kuya, we still needed his knowledge. <laughs> I still can't believe he's dead. Kuya, 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 Kuya. Oh, she had the biggest crush on poor Kuya. Oh, wow. That's Kuya's girl. I'm not even finna. I'm not even finna try no more. That's Kuya's cool. All right. What happened to Gundam and Hiko? Um, N now that you mention it, it appears they aren't here yet. I got it! I, I know, they probably ran away. No Where were you way. at? Oh, hell no! There's no way I'd let them escape, you know. Look, I dragged this one back over here. Don't fuck with me! I'm, I'm telling you, let me go! Hey! Hey, Come now, if you keep that in violent, 
I might just eat you up. Hey. Hey, Eco. What were you doing all this time? Huh? Nothing. I wasn't really doing anything. I was just chilling in my room when I suddenly heard that fat bastard got killed. Who the f cares about that anyway? You. How can you say something so irresponsible? Do you understand? We've been doing our best to investigate this murder even though we don't want to, just to survive. Wait. My Mahiru, that's enough. You too, Fuyihiko. Dumbass. Um... And I guess we're waiting for Gundam? What happened? Sam? I am right here. Now then, let's Remember us this well! A main character arrives when he intends to! Huh? Hey. It seems you noticed it too. <laughs> if I did, then I'm right. Did he just say he's the main character? Well now. Is he is that means that he's that means that he's gonna stick around. Ugh, that means that he's gonna stick around. Ugh, he ain't gonna be in the ugh, fuck, I knew what I was gonna say and I still fed it up. Golly! Uh here it go. Let me try again. Finna hit that class trial, let the games begin. Everybody hating on me, they know I'ma win. My name is Haji, bruh. My name is Haji, bruh. My nigga Nagi, huh? My nigga Nagi, huh? Yeah, he's super cool. He got that he got that blonde hair, dude. Uh uh. Gundam, a main character. That means he ain't gonna be face down, buried in the six feet. Fuck! Let's take the secret entrance to the trial field. Wait! But please wait a second! What's this? My my, Mona Me! Just what are you doing here? Nobody asked for you. I I I I, I well, what? Do you actually want to join in? You masochist! Do you want to taste how powerless you are at the class trial? You're an even bigger masochist than I thought! Special bleeding! Oh sense. well, I'm a big brother who dotes on his little sister. I shall allow your special participation. See ya later! I'll go on ahead and wait for you guys, so hurry over! Huh? He told us to come, but how do we get there? I know you shaking in your fucking boots right now. You finna get exposed. No Berlizzi. Uh, I don't see any doors or vehicles. What's going on? He mentioned something about a secret entrance, was it? Secret entrance? All y'all can move out the way for now. I'm trying to I'm trying to get this shit going. What the something's shaking. Ooh. This is dangerous. Everyone please get down. Look at this bear. <laughs> so something came out. Could it be? Is he telling us to enter it? What? S such a suspicious aura. Even Crimson Steel Elephant Magazine is trembling with fear. Oh. That's so totally suspicious. Hey, 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 hey. For forgive me. Seriously, just forgive me already. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, why don't we just stop here? I mean, none of this is real anyway. Like, not even remotely. No way, no way, no way. There's no way, there's just no way we'll find the killer. Stupid. C complaining won't get us anywhere. If you're really a man, then man up for God's sake. We've come this far. We have no choice but to keep moving forward. You're right. There's nowhere for us to run. We need to do it. Mm. If that's everyone's decision, I'll just follow you guys. Yep. If this were a video game, it'd have a very high difficulty level. Let's do our best to clear the game. Shaking with fear and nervousness, I hesitantly lifted my feet and stepped onto the escalator. I won't think anymore. And if I think, I'll run away. All I could do was stare upward intensely as the escalator carried me. And when each of us entered Monokuma Rock, That was all types of brain damage, bro. Huh? This 
is an elevator. Oh, I see. This entire rock is an elevator. <sighs> Once again, Monokuma is doing what he pleases. However, however, if he's gonna if he's gone this far and made something like this, I don't think he's playing around. <sighs> Even so, we're going pretty deep. You're right. I heard an unnerving chattering sound inside my head. I soon realized it was the sound of my teeth. All I could do was purse my lips tightly so everyone else couldn't hear it. Wow. There we were, listening to unpleasant roars as the elevator plunged deeper and deeper into the earth. Some time passed before the elevator finally finished descending, and then the elevator door slowly opened. Welcome! I'm trying to find thumbnails, y'all. This is the class trial field. How do you like it? It's a special place that will decide your fates. Why, you? What the hell is he thinking? Locking us in a shitty looking place like this. Don't fuck with me! Are you fucking crazy? Don't mess with me, asshole! <laughs> Complain all you like. I'm used to it by now. Yeah. Come on! You're wasting your time and energy. Hurry up and take your seats while your names are written. It looks like everyone knows. Even if we try to resist, it won't change a thing. Just as Monokuma ordered, we walked toward the seats we had been assigned. From this point on, we need to find out who killed Kuya. The ultimate affluent progeny. Kuya Togami. He was overly critical, arrogant, and condescending. But he also had a strong sense of responsibility. As we were panicking, he accepted his role as leader and tried his very best to keep us together. A guy like him got murdered. That looks like a thumbnail. The person who did it is one of us? Maybe not. I can't believe it. There's no way I can believe it. But if it's really true... This might be it right here. We need to find out by any means possible. Because that's our only option. There's no way for us to survive unless we sacrifice the killer. And so, this life-threatening trial billowing with hope and despair has begun. <laughs> I had my thoughts about who could have killed... Actually, I think I, I think I know. I think I know. Don't let me know in the comments. Don't spoil it for nobody else. But it has to be this dude... Teru Teru, or whatever the fuck his name is. The little the little shrimp pervert cook. I mean, there was just so many things that was pointing against him. Even before we started really talking, that knife. Seeing that knife really threw me off. Because I'm like, how is there a missing knife at the crime scene? But then it's like, there's that whole situation of being under, under, underground. Like... He was able to get underground through the bathroom. Because he was in the kitchen the whole time. It's not that hard to know where the bathroom is. All you gotta do is go out the kitchen door, make a right, go straight down the hallway, and you're right at the bathroom. When did what's his name run out the run out the room to go boo boo though? Was that before or after the blackout? We know, we know, we know who the killer is. We know, and and honestly, if it's not him, already goat status, already goat status. You know what I'm saying, bro? But. Until then, make sure that you leave a like on this video before you leave. Uh, if you want the series to continue, comment down below. Give us some hype. Bring them comments up. Uh, subscribe if you are new. Turn on post notification bell so you always know when I'm posting and going live. That being said, bro, I love each and every one of you. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Uh, no problem. No matter how large. <laughs> <the organization, laughs>